I've genuinely never seen anything like this. Wow. That intro definitely wasn't just to dramatise this. I genuinely haven't ever seen a cow's hoof like this. As you can see, me touching this part of her hoof does not seem to bother her in the slightest. I need to feel and explore the projections to understand exactly what we're dealing with and to figure out whether or not they're connected to the blood supply. This is a young heifer. She's just a first calver and actually I found out later after this video that she had an accident when she was younger and that accident has resulted in this, a deformed hoof sprouting keratin fingers. That isn't hair. It's not strands from digital dermatitis or hairy wart as some of you may be thinking. Those are keratin fingers and they are replacing what should have been the wall horn. This in effect is a hyperplasia, it's hypergrowth spawned on by the fact that this hoof has been deformed and been left open to the elements. Some of them will have a blood supply to them, so I need to be very careful which ones I remove and which ones I don't. Underneath all of those keratin fingers is a raw and open wound. This cow is in pain, which is why I'm applying a block to this outer hoof. In this case, we're going to use two blocks, two extremely long-lasting polyurethane blocks. This problem is not one that's going to disappear overnight and I'm not willing to take any chances by putting on a low block. I want to give her as much pain relief as possible for as long as possible and a block like a polyurethane one like I'm just about to attach will do that. It'll barely wear out at all and it'll provide the much needed height to get that sore deformed hoof off the ground. I need to wash out in between the keratin fingers and I worry that it hurts the cow in some way, but as you can see, she doesn't even flinch. I need to wash the dirt, debris and any manure from out between the keratin fingers so that anything I apply to it later will reach the target. Otherwise, it'll just form a barrier and anything I use will be powerless in the fight against this problem. Right, we haven't finished the trim but it is time to flatten off this outer claw and apply those two polyurethane blocks. When a cow walks, as she takes each stride, her foot does not hit the ground parallel to it or perpendicularly to it and it doesn't leave in the same way either. So you'll notice as I put these blocks on, I stagger them towards the back. That's to make sure the angle of the rollover will be sufficient, otherwise she won't walk on the blocks properly. And once that's done, it's time to remove or carve away as much of this hoof as we possibly can to give this cow as much relief and chance of completely recovering from this as possible. You can see me really carefully removing those keratin fingers, but when we come around the front, you'll see the true extent of the problem. We're wrapping this little cow's hoof with salicylic acid because that powder is going to kill the outer layers of tissue and hopefully fight back those keratin fingers so that new hoof horn can eventually grow in its place. Make no mistake though, this is not a problem that will be fixed overnight, but it is a problem that we are going to revisit. So if you want to follow her progress, make sure you've liked or subscribed to this channel.